Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm outside the brand new Warrington West railway station, opened on the 16th of December 2019. Now, the reason I'm here is because I've just finished making a video on this railway station and the other two railway stations in Warrington and just a general explore of Warrington. This video is an episode of Miniature Railway Britain. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start here by catching a train and we're going to travel in to Greater Manchester. So as we enter the new station, in the other video we came out, this video we're going in, we're going to go and catch a train and we're going to the Ermston and District Model Engineer Society's railway. So I'm quite excited. It's the first miniature railway of 2021st of the decade. Now, like Warrington West railway station is now complete. This is, you know, need more railway stations in Britain. So I'm going to go down onto the platform, wait for my train to take us to Ermston. We're going to go and, as I said, go and see the Ermston and District Model Engineer Society's miniature railway. So. Time to catch the train towards Manchester. We got on a class 150 at Warrington West and we're now travelling to the Ermston and District Model Engineering Society's railway. Now, there's a slight problem, it's not a massive problem at all, but um, we'll overcome it. I'd intended to go to Chasterton Road Station, but I've discovered trains don't stop there on a Sunday. So I'm going to have to go to Ermston and walk back, which I really don't mind, it's not a problem for me. But maybe for people who say we're visiting with children, might put them off visiting by public transport, the fact they've got to walk a bit. So if anyone from Northern's watching, maybe could consider a few uh, Sunday service trains stopping at, uh, um, at Chasterton Road and one or two other stations. So we should see Chasterton Road. I'm going to try and show you out the window as the train passes through and then I'm going to get off at Ermston and we shall walk back. It won't be far, I don't even think it's more than a mile. There we are, that's Chasterton Road. So that's where I intended to get off at. The place we're going to, the miniature railway, you can't see it from the train is just pretty much next door or the track runs next door to, um, um, to Chasterton Road Station so you can effectively almost have an interchange between Standard Gauge and Miniature. So we are now coming into Ermston so I'm gonna get off and uh, begin my walk back in that direction which like I said I don't mind it won't take, it'll take me less than 20 minutes. So here we go coming to Ermston Station. station before so it is a first for me until just before Christmas I hadn't even been on this line before so um, having quite a nice day exploring this part of the world so I've arrived at Ermston I've, today I'm using a Cheshire Day Ranger now if you've seen the other video that I also made today at Warrington, you'll have seen I talked a bit more about that, so great ticket to have and go all over Cheshire and even parts that are further afield. So, train departs, I don't think there's ticket barriers here but I've got my ticket ready just in case. Interesting looking station building there. I came on 150-101 and so not the Pioneer 150 but kind of the Pioneer of the two guard one. 115, they're both doorless on the front of 150s. As they depart, they should reveal the station building. There 
it looks like it's a, a restaurant. So when I get back here, I'll have a while to wait for a train, go and have a pint. So perhaps it's not such a bad thing that their um, the trains weren't stopping at Chatterton Road today. So this is the ticket office. It looks like it's closed on a Sunday. I come up here, I think we're into um, St Town Centre. So it's now time for me to begin my walk back towards Chatterton Road. So I'm now walking from Urmston Railway Station to the Urmston and District Model Engineers Society. I'll just give you an idea of how short the distance actually is. Um, Urmston Station is just there, what, a quarter of a mile that way? Now if we turn around on this bridge and look that way, you can see Chesterton Road is quite clearly, well, 300 yards away. So it's um, the tracks between Urmston and Chesterton Road is, is no more than half a mile, if that even, so it really isn't far, so I would hardly say it would have been good to have got off it off at Chatterton Road, it's not, not really a problem to me to have to walk. So I've walked along the main sort of road through Urmston Town Centre today. I've come into this housing estate because I discovered that there's a path running along here which is going to nicely take us to the park where the miniature railway is. So um, I really feel like I'm exploring now. I've been, never been to this area in my life before. Like I said, the railway line, I've only travelled on that for the first time towards the end of last year. So um, it's all completely new to me, but I'm enjoying it. I always like going to new places, even if it's in England and, you know, so looking forward to finding this miniature railway and um, seeing, you know, because every miniature railway is different. That's what I find so fascinating about, well, you can say that about all railways, actually, all railways are different. That's what I find so fascinating about miniature railways. And that's why, you know, I have this kind of desire to visit every single one of them in the UK and when I've done that then I'll do the rest of the world you know some might crop up in between if I'm in, if I'm somewhere and there's a miniature railway some of the miniature railway Britain series may go abroad but we'll um we'll see when that happens I'm just going to carry on following this footpath a little bit further and soon we should be at the railway so I think we are very close we've now been going along the back of the houses the main railway line is there and yes, I can see it. I can see the railway. It's about to reveal itself. I can even see a train in the distance. Here we are. Look, there's so the railway's here. It's a raised track miniature railway. I don't know if camera's picking it out, but there is a train in the distance. And I can see some smoke of another steam train coming this way. So um, it looks like, I think the station must be over there somewhere. I'm going to follow the track this way. You can see the little signals up there. And uh, I want to walk around the edge and I want to have a look at Chaston Road Station and soon we should see a train coming so let's let's wait and see it and um, I don't know what it's going to be what sort of train well steam obviously because I could see the smoke it's, it's interesting to hear when I got further back there there was two footpaths so there's one footpath here on one side of the fence and then there's this footpath here well this isn't really a footpath but the path sort of disperses into the park oh train's coming so let's just watch the train go past and then we should go and find both railway stations, the little station and the big station. And it's the little one that has the train running today. Interesting looking loco, I'm not sure what that was, but it looked like um, certainly a miniature narrow gauge loco. I can see more steam, so I can see at least three clouds of steam, so there's at least three locos out, so I'll try and have a trip on all of them. I love these little lights though, see how the lights are red, and the train is currently in that section, just up there, the next light shows a double yellow, and now that's gone red because the train's passed it. So as I continue walking along, here we are, that's Chesterton Road Station, and see how close the miniature railway is. They can always build a little platform here and actually have 
an interchange. I can see another train coming. This is, um, I haven't been here long, but I already really like this miniature railway. It'd be great. Imagine if a steam train came through on the main line. We had like a double running. That would be amazing. Anyway, I'm going to let you watch this train go past. So I'm going to temporarily leave the park to have a look at Chatham Road Station. I've already really enjoyed just walking along that bit there because, you know, I've, I've already seen three steam trains and there's another one running along there now. So there's at least four steam locos out today. So for a January Sunday afternoon, that's pretty good going. While we wait for that steam train to come, I just want to show you Chatham Road Station. So here it is. Whether we can get on the platform, not, not sure. Cause no, but looks like we might be able to. This is Chaston Road, there's the ticket office. And here, we can see two types of railway, standard gauge and miniature. So if we go down here, yeah, it looks like we should get onto the platform. I've also realized that path I mentioned that ran parallel to the park actually goes into the station. So um, let's have a look. So yeah, that path ends there. If I go up here, we should just see the steam train. Yes, yeah, it's coming, oh, it's a 9F. So I've just seen a 9F pass through Chatterton Road Station. Um, not something people, you know, would have believed you if you'd said once upon a time. So I'm just going to have a look now on the station. Or oh, is it locked? No, I can get on it even though no train's stopping. So this is Chatterton Road Station. If you want to catch a train here, You've either got to walk to Ermston or walk to the park and have a little ride in the miniature train. So I'm at Chaston Road and I've got to go and find the miniature railway. So now I've been to Chasterton Road Station and now making my way to the miniature railway station. Now, the miniature railway here, it kind of goes down into a cutting because it's a raised track. It's a bit like a little fence. So it has to then go for a bridge and that looks like how we're going to enter the park. I can see another bridge over there. So um, let's go and find the station. It's, it looks like already, I can see it's quite an extensive rail. It basically follows the perimeter of the park. So really looking forward to a trip on it. Um, so yeah, here we are. Look, this is the the bridge. And the metro goes underneath. And I can see a load of steaming up going on over there. So it's time we wandered over and um, let's see what we're going to find. Let's have a ride on the miniature trains.
Well, I've had a great afternoon at the Amsterdam District Model Engineering Society's Railway. I just want to show you this before I go. They've got like another circuit here, which is like their running in circuits. This is just a small circuit here. And then the other circuit circumnavigates the whole park. I was talking to one of the club members. He told me for a long time they just had a smaller circuit here, perhaps a little bit bigger than this one. They've been around since the 1940s. And then it was in about 1980 that they built their line which runs all around the park so it's, it's a really nice railway it's it's you know it's just nice um, addition to the park it's also quite fun over there there's quite a gradient so the locos do work quite hard so it's I, I like to I've had a great afternoon if you're ever in you know this part of Greater Manchester or if you ever bought a Cheshire Day Ranger ticket like I have on a Sunday then you know do come here yes you're gonna have to walk from Ermston station but it's not a bad walk it's only you know half a mile so it's um yeah very very enjoyable afternoon i've had so i'm now gonna walk back to ermston station i'm gonna walk over this bridge here you can see that's the steep gradient see that's in a cutting on an f bend going uphill so the locos really work but there's a i see that the 9f is reversing off over the traversa back to the steaming base it's probably going to be bedded down it's pretty finished its day of steaming so so i begin my walk through we go a different way i'm gonna go this way this time see a bit more of ermston so from the ermston and district model engineering societies thank you very much for watching as i said do you know come and visit them they run every sunday of the year most mitch railways don't run every sunday this one does they don't run on a sunday if it's christmas day so yeah, do come and visit them and thank you very much for watching and please feel free to like, subscribe, comment and tell your friends about Henry's Adventures and anyone who might like to come visit this miniature railway. Goodbye.